Maintenance of the SAF system is important to assure the proper function of the system as well as to attain infection control. The following guidelines will help you to achieve this task. Standard means of infection control should be kept when using the SAF system as in all endodontic equipment. The self-adjusting files are supplied non-sterile and should be autoclaved prior to use. Use a calibrated autoclave at a temperature of 121 degrees Celsius or 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Using a higher temperature setting may result in damage to the plastic shank of the SAF. Avoid using disinfection reagents, as some may cause deformation of the SAF plastic parts. Sodium hypochlorite is a potent corrosive. To prevent cumulative corrosion damage, wipe and lubricate the RDT3 head after each treatment. When lubricating the RDT3 head, make sure that the oil spray nozzle is well fitted and spray for a few seconds until clear oil comes out of the other side of the handpiece head. Maintenance of the Vatia irrigation pump should be done carefully to avoid spillage of potentially harmful irrigation fluids, such as sodium hypochlorite, on the external surface of the Vatia or its electrical parts. When filling or emptying the Vatia, make sure it is disconnected from the power supply and turned off. Fill the Vatia using a funnel, avoid spillage of irrigation fluids while filling or emptying, and if spillage occurs, wipe immediately with a wet wipe, followed by a dry wipe. Maintenance of the endostation should be done carefully to avoid spillage of potentially harmful irrigation fluids such as sodium hypochlorite on the device. Fill and empty the irrigation bottle away from the device and make sure no external residue is left on the bottle before placing it in its holder. Endodontic irrigants may form crystals and clog the tubes. To prevent this, replace the irrigant with clean water and run the pump on maximum output at the end of each workday. Rinsing the irrigation line with water should be done according to the recommendation for your device. Pumping air into the irrigation line in order to drain the excess water is advised. Disconnect the irrigation line tubes from the device at the end of each workday. Handle all parts of the system with care. Avoid dropping any part of the device on a hard surface or sharply bending any of the cords. Do not lubricate the endostation's micromotor or sterilize it by autoclave or ultrasonic cleaner. Do not disassemble your device under any circumstances. If the device is damaged, consult with your supplier and send the device only to an authorized technician. Detailed information regarding maintenance can be found in the instructions for use of the device and the SAF System Clinical Guidelines Manual.